the hundred years of buses. The transport board bring out some of its ghosts for a vastly entertaining pageant with the passengers in the costumes of the period. For instance, getting on and off the Shilly Beer bus of 1829 was a bit of a business. The knife board made its appearance in 1850, and mounting the steps was no easy matter in the hoop skirts of those days. And on top, you sat sideways, so that if the bus stopped suddenly, you reclined against the gentleman sitting next to you, which was too, too thrilling. Most ladies preferred to travel inside, but getting in was often more trouble than getting up. But a little kind help, and it was easy. Sitting on top of the garden seat bus was another thrill, especially if you could talk to the driver. Such a gay cavalcade wouldn't be complete without old Bill, who went to France during the war when conductresses were on duty at home. But missing the last bus in those days was no joke. 